Hello guys and welcome to this uh, late night review. Um, this is about midnight on a Friday evening and I've just watched um, another great 2024 horror film. And this one is called Sting. Now this is the HMV exclusive edition. It has an exclusive cover and slip case exclusive to HMV. Um, so there is an, another one with a different cover and a different sort of slip case, but I went for the exclusive HMV one. What can I say about Sting? Um, I would describe it as Alien, but with a spider. Um, this, this film is based on um, this... Uh, a young girl called Charlotte, Charlotte's Web, if you like, and and she is sort of like a bit of a tomboy, living in this um, apartments in in America with her her um, her mother and her sort of stepfather called Ethan, and also the, the buildings owned by her sort of evil grumpy aunt and. Um, their mother lives there, um, the the mum's mother, so her grandmother lives there, who's suffering from um, sort of dementia. And she's sort of living there too. And the film sort of starts off with the the, um, the grandmother calling the um, the bug people in, called Frank, uh, because she's hearing these noises in the wall. And then sort of Frank sort of turns up. And it's all snowing outside in New York. This is an Australian film, but filmed in New York. This makes a change from not being an Italian film being filmed in New York. And um, he turns up and he finds all this sort of goo coming out of like these sort of uh, uh, air vents and stuff. And he then sort of like... Um, we sort of see all these sort of strange things happening and it cuts back to four days later and we see a meteorite um, sort of landing on the earth and a little piece of the meteorite comes off and goes through the window and lands in this dollhouse and it's sort of like a pod, like a, an alien pod and it opens like one and then a spider comes out and sort of disappears and the young girl, um, Charlotte, she, she gets hold of the spider and keeps it in a jar, in a glass jar, and she calls it um, Sting. No Sting, no Sting, Sting, no. Anyway, so she, she gets um, this um, spider and calls him Sting. And she starts feeding it sort of like rock cockroaches and stuff like that. Ethan, her stepdad, works at the place as like a supervisor, sort of caretaker, and he doesn't get on with the grumpy evil aunt she's on his case all the time so he's trying to fix things and stuff like this and he's an artist and he draws comic books and um charlotte she sort of describes stories to him and he uses her stories in comic books and they've made up this comic book called fangirl sort of background sort of stories going on and um we, we seem to meet a few other neighbors we meet this beautiful old sort of like Italian lady who's um, living downstairs. She's really, really pretty. And she's sort of like, she's depressed and got an alcohol problem. I think she's lost her family. And she's sort of like there. And we see Ethan doing work in her flat. And then we meet this Chinese guy who's doing this sort of a um, pancreas sort of, um, research in his flat with fish. And we meet him and we meet all these sort of wonderful characters. And while this is all going on, our um, spider, um, Sting, is starting to get clever. And he's starting to open his own cage, and his own jar lid, sorry, not cage, and, and get out at night and come back. And he's, it, and they've replic, and she's, he's even mimicking what the noise of the girls make him. Um, and um, she, she sort of like, um, absolutely adores this spider. And her grandmother knits her this jumper, um, and it stinks of mothballs. But this is the uh, the spider's kryptonite. It doesn't like mothballs, so that comes into the story later on when the film sort of explodes, because it does. Because the spider keeps getting fed and gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and she introduces it to the Chinese man because she wants to borrow one of his fish tanks 
and he sees it and he's trying to grow this spider big and it grows really big and then it sort of starts preying on the residents of the uh of the building and it is just like alien we've got um sort of uh, it's even one point when he comes out of the stomach of um one of his victims um because he crawls into the Italian woman's mouth and he comes out of his stomach like a like like the sort of um face hugger and the chest buster in Alien. There's so many little shout outs to Alien in this film because a lot of it's taken in, in fire ducts and stuff like this. And there's sort of like a big build up with this with the sort of like the alien coming the alien, the spider coming down, just like the alien did from the ceiling. It's got so many it is just like Alien. But with a spider in in a, an apartment block in New York instead of in space, that's the only way I can describe it, and it's absolutely fantastic. It is a real cool film. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's got a real eighties creature feature f um, feel to it because it's got some sort of humour going on in the film as well. Some sort of funny moments, just like sort of like um some of the eighties creature features did, like the blob and all this sort of thing. It's got all that sort of elements going on, but it's got the suspense and atmosphere of Alien, and and even the 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 alien looking spider is 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 um is kind of like yeah, this is just like Alien, but that's not a bad thing. The pluses of this edition, it looks wonderful. It looks absolutely amazing. The sound is great. I love the acting in the film. It's very 80s retro -y sort of acting. The special effects are cool. It's like a mixture of sort of like CG, CGI and sort of like old school sort of um, um, effects. They seem to have made a mixture of the both, which is, I think gives it that 80s feel. Uh, there is some gore in it. There's some quite gory deaths in it. Um, it's only a 15, I believe. Yeah, it's only a 15, which I'm a bit surprised because there is some quite gory bits in the film. And there's lots of like uh, parts where, you know, like in Aliens, when all the people sort of all sort of done up against the wall, they're all sort of stuck there. There's lots of bits like that with the spiders webbed them against the wall and Charlotte's trying to save her family. The only way to find out if she does is watch it. I'm going to score the film an amazing watch and give it a 9 out of 10. It's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that little pooch. Unfortunately, he, he succumbs to his end. Um, so it, it it's a 9 out of 10 for me. I think it's fantastic. It, it's... When I say it's like Alien with a Spider, it, it is. But it's, it's in a good way. And it's done with, I think, sort of like almost... Uh, a homage to Alien and I think it's made really really well and I highly recommend it if you want a great sort of popcorn evening fun movie to watch it does exactly what it says it's going to do a giant spider from out of space terrorizing people in this apartment and it does it wonderfully amazing sting no sting no sting nine out of ten any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below. If you have. We went to see this in the cinema, me and the lad. And uh, we were messing about because we were having a cool time. And he kept doing this, like the spider corner. And I was going, no, no, Sting, no. Throughout the film, we was having a good old laugh throughout it. So whenever we think about this, he does that and we have a laugh about it. And it's so cool. So it brings back a lot of memories of a great, day out the cinema with my lad it's such a fun film and we've had fun about this film since since then and i'm so glad it's it's, it's out on with this amazing release the negative about the release is no special features you've got um screen selection main menu and the film which is a real shame love to have had some special features on it but there we go who knows in the future it does leave it open. The film does leave it open for more. Um, so hopefully we might get some follow-ups. But if we don't, this is still absolutely fantastic on its own. Check it out, guys. Great film. Check out some other channels as well to my next uh, 
video, please check out Horror Hands, the horror geek movie film, RS Design, Pizzawell, I'm Ice Lord Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my lad. <sighs> Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.